Okay, considering that, consider the condition that we are in this moment here, I, I thought to cut down my one and a half hour closing remarks to very few minutes. So I'm not going to bother you very much, but it is very interesting to look at what we are talking about here today and put it into the perspective of what is happening around, around us in Europe. There's no question about the fact that Europe is going through a very difficult period of time, a very difficult cycle, and it has been a long cycle. It's been a period of time of now, I would say, three, four years where things have not been picking up. And so consider one of the particular problems that we have, which is the one of unemployment, where in some of the countries we have the youth unemployment that reaches 50%, which really means that there is one full generation of people that is going to skip the working time. We have to do something. And I am part of the, it is hot here. <coughs> I am part of the uh, Barroso uh, Advisory, Science and Technology Advisory Group. And what we talk about in this uh, Science and Technology Advisory Group, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm not so sure I know why i have be part of that one, but anyway. I think I represented General Electric. It is always talking about innovation. Talking, you know, innovation is always easy to talk about. What do we need to do? Innovate. But innovation is not something that you turn on and off with a switch. Innovation is the result of a certain process, and it is a process that takes time. Now, there are, certain, there are two kinds of innovation. One of them is the product innovation, which is long, it takes time, it takes brilliant ideas. The other one, it is process innovation. And here is where we have a great opportunity, and here is where the concept of minds and machines comes into the picture. Why? The industrial base of Europe, which happens to be the largest industrial area in the world, when you look at the number, the economy of the 27 of Europe is $16 trillion. It is a very, a very large industrial base, but it is not productive and it needs to improve the level of productivity in order to facilitate investments that are going to help the growth. And I think that this marriage between mines and machines, the use of the industrial internet, it what is going to help us to find out the possibility to be productive in Europe. What basically we can attack is this huge raw material that we have, which I would call lack of productivity today, and it's going to help us to turn it around and to make it the reason for growth for us Europeans. So it is right on time that we have this here. But this we cannot do it alone. This is something where a company like General Electric can certainly start. A company like General Electric can create the call for action if you want. But it is an, it is an initiative that involves several different constituencies. It is an initiative that involves the private industry for sure, but it involves also the universities, the system of education. It involves the government and all those people that in one way or the other can contribute. So the meaning of today in a place like this one, which is kind of interesting because out of the ashes of the Industrial Revolution, which is this building, we are going to create the birth of the wave of industrial internet. This place is interesting because it gives us the meaning of what can happen to Europe. So please, let's all get together, let's all work together, and let's make sure that this is going to be the first step in what is going to be the future growth for Europe. Thank you very much. I'm going to get out of this one because it's like being in an oven.